A northeastern Minnehaha County man is thankful tonight following what his family is calling a freak fishing accident involving that lure. Carter Schmidt spoke with him and his family. Todd Thiesenvitz was fishing on a lake near Clark, South Dakota on July 7th when the barely believable happened. I seen the bottom bouncer come flying towards me like in slow motion. Well, I thought it just hit me in the chest, but when it hit me in the chest, I felt something right here, and then it, uh, um, I realized that it was stuck inside of me. Todd was reeling a large northern pike to the surface when the fishing hook broke. It went into my left ventricle of my heart, and uh, there's a sack around your heart. It went through that, and then it's into the heart muscle itself. Todd was fishing with his wife and daughter, Kiana, who is a nurse. My first instinct is not to pull it, to leave it in. Whenever anything happens, you instantly want to get it out of you because you think that would help. Todd's wife, Marie, drove the boat back to this boat landing, which at the time was full of first responders. Every wave that it hit was making him scream in more pain. So it was, it was nerve-wracking, and I, I had to just kind of keep looking over my shoulder, but I knew that Kiana had him, and I knew that she was going to take care of him. Kiana played a crucial part in her dad's survival. We went fishing on that same lake the day before, and she wasn't with us. If it would have happened then, I don't know what the outcome would have been. Once they got off the water, Todd was taken by ambulance to a hospital in Watertown and then airlifted to Sioux Falls, where he had surgery to remove the remaining part of the bottom bouncer. This is actually it, and they... What's left of it? What's left, yeah. Um, in the ambulance ride, which was probably like 20 minutes, the normal bottom bouncer has, you know, additional length here. They cut it off and then clamped it and then uh, taped the clamp that was holding the remainder of the rod down to his chest. Todd says he is thankful. My daughter, my wife, um, all the caretakers from uh, Clark, South Dakota, Prairie Lakes Hospital in Watertown, and uh, the people in Sioux Falls. They are like, it's one in a million chance that you're uh, still here with us, you know. Had I pulled it out, they said within 30 minutes, definitely been dead. We are truly blessed. Truly. Truly blessed. Not only because he's here, but he's doing so well. I told my wife that we should, should have bought some lotto tickets that day, you know. You never know. But this is better than winning the lottery. In Minnehaha County, Carter Schmidt, 